Welcome to the second chapter in the Renovation Diaries. Today is the best day for Bambi because it is gardening day. So time to, to be fair, there's nothing really to take out. Um, there is a tree stump that needs removing and they were going to charge us like 300 pounds to get it out. Um, and it's like so annoying, like, like three, it's probably here. 300 pounds is like fine, like sure, I like fine. <laughs> but like, it's so boring a thing to spend money on. Like I'd rather a new sofa, a new mat, well, no, no, Bridget mattress, well, make my good mattress for 300 pounds. Um, yeah, to get something removed that I didn't put there that I don't even like, that's not that annoying. So I was like Googling like, <laughs> decorations, how can I use this, can I make it a bird feeder? <laughs> um, and instead, Daniel's gone and bought a chainsaw, so he is now doing it himself, which is slightly concerning, but I am on raking the dirt duty. Pond gone. Stump pretty much gone. You're actually doing such a good job. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun. You I do like it. It's not really work, is it? I don't know why there's like a claim on that. Baby. So your new career is plumbing and tree stump removal. Yeah, all part time, <laughs> all basic tasks only. Um, well, at least you're enjoying this more than you enjoyed plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> more to go. Ta-da! Baby, look. Oh. What is yeah. this? What is this? You got grass, baby. You got grass. Magic. Oh, good stretch. <laughs> she thinks it's a yoga mat. <laughs> so I have been filming, so I actually look half decent for once. Um, but background, backyard updates. So last thing I think we showed was laying the grass. Grass has been laid, where am I? Flippy flops. Baby, you joining? Baby! Wanna go walk? Baby, <laughs> Bambi's garden, she put in lots of hard work. So we have some hydrangeas. This one keeps falling over, but they look really nice. I um, can't remember what that is, but hopefully that tree grows higher. We've laid all the grass, so Bambi has lots of space to run around. We've got chrysanthemums. Chris, I can never say the word spread out just for bedding so like hopefully that like spreads and makes some color um i want to put up so for some reason the fence on this side of the garden is a lot lower than this side of the fence <laughs> garden sorry so and we have no trees or anything um so i want to put up like a privacy shield or some sort of plant or something just so it grows high but the problem is i want it now so any advice and or tips would be fantastic so i'm thinking of either an ivy or some sort of tree I have bamboo down the side because that gives a nice view for the kitchen. Um, but also it will be privacy because that's that bedroom up there looks directly in, which is not helpful. So give some privacy there. Um, and yes, and we've got some, I don't know what this is, but it was on sale, so I bought it. <laughs> it looked big and green, so I bought it and it wasn't that expensive. Um, and then we bought some lavender, three lavenders in a row. Perfect. This is where the compost was. So this is gonna go nuts. And this area is still chaos. Um, this is the old kitchen, and this is like they left, which we're trying to sell. And then we have this oven, which by the way, apart from like the fact that it completely needs retiling, I have no idea how to use. So, <laughs> feel free to tell me in the comments, how do I use the oven? I guess they left some coal, to put coal in there. So it's all coming together for Bambi, who's now hanging out inside. And now Daniel is Gonna be finalizing the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Put some pink on. Last doors to go on. Tiling is starting to come off. I know everyone will be very upset to see this tile go. Um, but it should be good. And then we'll get the people in to measure countertops. And we're done. But Daniel's almost done. Daniel is almost well, we have to tile that, but that's a different job. You have to get that off, which is an actual nightmare. We're going well. Good morning, everyone. Um, 
it's been a while. Um, I find the house stuff was going quite fast um, and now it's kind of like more subtle changes. So I thought, um, I think I've done quite a bit in this video. So I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick, like almost tour um, of each room and highlight the bits we've done. Um, and that'll wrap it up and then we'll end this chapter because we have some exciting stuff happening next week, which might be a bit more big picture. Um, so we'll start, it's like a, it's like a home tour, but not really. Um, so I'm in the living room. I don't think there's that much. You can just judge the messiness that is my life. Um, what we have done in here, we've started putting the paneling up. So that's exciting. Um, we're going to put the, they've got the top row. They're going to put some like squares in here. Um, but they're going up in a bit. Um, it goes all the way around over there. Um, I think I'm also going to go sit on some sofas on the weekend because this one isn't staying. It just doesn't fit. It's just, it's a, it's fine. It's just too big. Um, I want to get a smaller sofa here and then another sofa here and then have a coffee table in the middle. I think that, and then obviously this rug is not centered. I hope <laughs> the reason it's there is because we moved in and then there was that cold snap of everything like freezing um, and we had no furniture and we were painting. So like I just stuck, stuck it on the ground to like add some warmth to the room. <laughs> so it's just like in the actual weirdest spot and I've just left it. Um, and then I think next video or so you should see, I'm um, gonna start putting some shelves up in here and then I'm also gonna paint that finally. Um, but that was Daniel's handiwork. Um, so we'll come through the hallway. Um, more paneling has gone on here. Um, this room, I don't think anything's changed in here. I have, uh, actually no, I think my alcohol collection has depleted since you saw it last. Um, my, I don't know if I told you, I can't remember. I think it was in one of my videos. We, we, Daniel, accidentally left the plants outside and that day it snowed. Um, turns out house plants don't love the snow, it turns out. So um, I'm trying to bring them back to life. Uh, believe it or not, this is them thriving compared to what they looked like. So we've been managing that crisis. Um, I lost one. And so in here, now, I feel like this hasn't changed that much to you, but I can tell you we've added the edging at the top. Dan has put the filler piece on. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna put a box around it just to like hide it away. Um, obviously this is, this is the fridge. Look at all that food prep. Um, told you the alcohol collection is just spreading. And then we've, um, I made this into like a little breakfast bar with the Nutribullet for the smoothies, Daniel's coffee machine, and then the microwave, and then nothing up there because I can't reach. Um, and then down here, I have the drawers of uh, root veggies. This is the carb straw. <laughs> um, and then we also have all the cans at the bottom, which is, oh my gosh, <laughs> that was full like two days ago. Um, and then we've got the island, which is full of stuff because this is the cupboard that goes up there. But the exciting update is that it looks awful, but um, we're pulling off the tile, finally. Um, yes, I'm excited. To so what we're doing, and this is why we're going to pause the video after this little toury bit, is that um, we're going to go on Friday, which is tomorrow, um, to a countertop place, worktop and order our worktop, but they have to come in and measure. So they need to be able to measure to the back. So we just want to make sure that that back row of tiles is not there when they come and measure. So looking as safe as always, um, we're obviously not using those. Um, very soon, this masterpiece will be gone. My mum loves it though. So I'm thinking of like somehow seeing if I can like save the tiles and like stick them to an MDF board and mail it to her in Australia. We will see. Um, but yeah, all the drawers are here. Um, so we're gonna have the bench top come out and have like stools under here. Um, so a little breakfast bar area. Um, and yeah, it's a good little kitchen. I'll do like a proper tour once it's like done, done. Like Daniel half decided that he wanted to paint these and then quickly changed his mind. So now we have that. Um, so I will probably tile that bit. <laughs> um, um, so that's the downstairs. Oh, we have some exciting um, the stairs, once again, we have this panelling, which we need to like, you know, do all the, the bits and painting and the filling early days. Um, you'll be happy to know my ugly door is still here. That will be definitely changed in the next video you see. Um, bedroom, I have a chest of drawers and I have my ottoman, uh, which 
for storage, secret storage. Most exciting, we have a light. Um, it is so bright in here. So bright in here because we went from one globe to like, what is that, six globes? Can I count? Yes, six globes. So that's so exciting. Um, very funny story is that when Daniel installed that, I bought that off like Amazon, so you know, questionable quality, we understand. Um, however, something something neutral wire was live, something something we blew a fuse. And when I say blew a fuse, I mean the actual fuse box blew up, not like flick a switch blew a fuse. So we had to call an electrician, he came out, um, and then the electrician ended up installing it. And yes, now Daniel knows what not to do. Although, to be fair, it wasn't actually his fault, it was like the fact that the, the, the wires, were, wires weren't um, labelled correctly. So, hopefully we will have more light updates because I still have Old Mate here that I do not enjoy and I have one ready to go up there. So I'm excited for that one to happen. Also I need to do something about this um, window because, <laughs> look, if I stand, this is the spare room, there's nothing exciting. Um, there's one of the lights to go up. Okay, here, look. Bedroom, bathroom, window, neighbor's house. They can clearly see when you do a nudie run. <laughs> I'm like genuinely concerned I've ruined a relationship with my neighbor and I've only been here a month. Um, I'm yeah, I'm like genuinely concerned I've like scarred their child. So I wanna put something here, but I don't wanna lose like the light. So um, any suggestions, leave me comments. <laughs> Cause it's not exactly like the best view, it's just someone's house. Also need to fix this curtain rod. I've slid it so that we could have the built-ins cause Daniel did that. Also my looks less like terrific, I've painted that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I need to trim this cause for some reason this curtain rod is massive. I don't know if you're able to tell. If I pull this, is this a terrible idea? Like it's not, it's not in anything. <laughs> Trim that, paint it black. Oh, clearly that's a safety hazard. Um, and yeah, and then we obviously have this bit, which is honestly just like a pile of clothes at the moment, which I don't know what we're doing with, but very much down the line that, but, and then I'm gonna put a mirror here cause that's my makeup. And then I can have a little makeup counter cause there's not enough room for a vanity. And this is a lovely gift from Cotton On. So I'll post it on my Instagram, but, I'm like so excited for summer now that I have, look at how cute these dresses. I'm like, this is probably my favorite. Although I'm really also glad they sent me um, some jeans. So I got this cute little dress and I'm like, they sent me some jeans, which is good because uh, everything I've seen is telling me that I'm a, an old millennial because I wear skinny jeans. So they bought me <laughs> some straight leg jeans. Keeping me cool, cotton on, keeping me cool. Um, Just realized you might not know what cotton on is. Um, cotton on is, um, it's an Australian brand that I used to shop at all the time when I was in Australia and they reached out um, and they sent me that to say like, we're launching. Um, and I was like, yes, I've missed you. Welcome, welcome to the UK. Um, so I'm super excited to have them back here. So I feel like that's all the updates I have. Yeah, there's not, that's what I mean, there's not that much. So hopefully I'm gonna end it here and then hopefully the next video I won't have a new sofa because that's going to take six to eight weeks because that's how sofas work. Um, what month is it? Might have a new dining table. I have ordered one, you'll see that. Um, but the good thing is this worktop was supposed to take six weeks and we found someone that's like a hundred pounds cheaper than where we were going. And it's like going to be one week. So hopefully in the next video, that'll be so exciting. And then we will, um, yeah, you might want to say goodbye to this. It's, it's the last time, the last video it'll probably be in. Um, and then we'll be tiling and we will get some shelving up here. One other thing we did do, uh, we got a quote for this bathroom, which I don't know, I don't even know if I've shown you this bathroom, to be honest. This is our downstairs, so that, that's the living room. Downstairs bathroom. It's not the worst. For some reason, the basil thrives in here. I don't know, take it up with the basil. Um, little shower, um, it's just, and like it comes out better on camera, it's just really old and not in good condition, like we don't use this, I use it to wash the dog to be honest because she gets muddy, um, so yeah, like it's just, you can see it's not great, um, and I don't like the toilets being built in, like aesthetically it's fine, uh, it makes me anxious because if something goes wrong I can't get to it, could be leaking, I don't um, and because it's quite narrow, not a lot of storage. Um, there's this mirror though, 
which is massive, but you could just have like one mirror and then like sh and like shelves there or something, I don't know. I got a quote for this bathroom and that will hopefully be going ahead in June. So that'll be an exciting transformation. So we've already had a kitchen and a bathroom transformation. Um, we are not, we are not doing this one ourselves because too much risk, too much damage could be done. Um, I don't want to burst a pipe. I don't want to poorly seal a shower. So um, yeah, getting professionals in to do that. And hopefully we can use them for like the bigger stuff we want to do down the line, but yes, exciting. I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed that update. Um, it's all coming along. I kind of now feel like the house is, is ours, I guess. Like when we moved in, it felt like we were in someone else's house. Um, and it was in not particularly good condition, uh, if you remember. So having done all the skirting boards, put up the paneling, that wall is no longer red, um, things like that. In fact, having one room with like the same colored walls, mind blowing. Um, and having a functional kitchen because our kitchen just wasn't functional when we moved in because it was just that one wall and like no storage. So even without the countertop, it feels much more like, you know, ours. So I feel like once I get, and so I didn't, yeah, so once we get like the inside good, we're going to move on to doing the outside because we're going to do something really cool with the new shed. I won't tell you what it is yet, but that'll be another project um, to do. So lots to do. Feels like a never ending list. And I feel like it's so many things just get derailed. Like changing the light fitting was not meant to be a whole day activity and we ended up losing power for an entire day upstairs. Things like that, because that's, you know, the joys of home renovation. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe so you can see the things I've hinted at in this video. Um, you know, big things. I'm personally going to be so excited to get the worktop for the kitchen. I think that's going to be hugely impactful. Um, and then once we start doing the garden, I think that's going to be like low effort, maximum impact. Whereas like currently pulling off the tiles in the kitchen is maximum effort and minimal impact because it still looks shit. <laughs> It's all coming together, maybe by end of June. Ooh, maybe, we will see. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Pray for me uh, for that grout scraping because it's a duel my head in. <laughs>